Hello guys, welcome back to a new tutorial series of Android game development using Corona SDK. In the first video of this tutorial series, we are going to learn about an introduction to Corona. Also, we are going to check what are the components we must have in your computer to start the game development using Corona SDK. So let us start an introduction to Corona. Corona is a cross-platform framework used to rapidly create apps and games for mobile devices and desktop systems. Uh, cross-platform means uh, it is platform independent. That means you can create a game in Corona SDK and you can build the game to any appropriate platform. That is the meaning of cross-platform. Uh, by using Corona, uh, you can create games for Android, iOS, uh, Mac desktop, Windows desktop, and even more. That is the exact meaning of cross-platform. In Corona, the development is done using a special scripting language called Lua. It is simple and it is powerful for creating game coding. And it is very easy to learn. Corona is the game development platform that supports the real-time testing of the app. That means if you make a change on the game coding, that change reflects on the Corona simulator in real-time. And there is more than 1000 APIs are available in Corona that help to transform your idea into stunning and innovative gaming app experience. Using the Corona Simulator, you can test your app in various devices and platforms. There are plenty of uh, Corona Simulators are available for various platforms. Okay, now we can check what are the software components that must have in our computer to start the game development using Corona. The first one is Corona SDK. Corona SDK is free tool for game development. Second one, you need a text editor for the Corona script writing. So here the script is Lua. So you can use any favorite text editor for the Lua script writer. For example, you can use Atom, uh, Visual Studio Code, Sublime, Touch, Notepad, Plus Plus, etc. And for here, for this tutorial series, I am going to use Notepad Plus Plus for the Lua script writing. And uh, you have to install JDK. If you want to build the game for Android platform, you must have the latest version of JDK in your computer. So now we are going to install the needed components for start game development using Corona. Okay, now we are going to download and install the needed components for start game development using Corona SDK. The first package is Corona SDK. Open your browser and type Corona SDK. And go to the official website of Corona Labs. Here uh, you need to provide your email address and click download free SDK. Here uh, you need to perform a register. Uh, if you already have an account on this website, you can log in from here. So here I already have an account on this website, so I can log in. Uh, click continue. Okay, now we can download Corona SDK. So click this button, download Corona SDK. And here I have a Microsoft Windows platform. So I have to download the Windows version of Corona SDK. So click the download button. And here the download started now. Uh, it is around 61 MB of size. 
okay here the download finishes the file available in my download folder so now we need a text editor for the script writing here i'm going to use notepad plus plus for the script writing so we have to download notepad plus plus so go to the download page here i am going to here i use a 64-bit version of windows so here it is 64-bit installer download it okay now the notepad plus plus download finishes so now you need to download and install uh, jdk uh, select the java download option jdk download option here accept the license agreement and from this list uh, you can select the needed version of jdk based on your platform so here in this computer i already have jdk installed so now there is no need for me to download jdk and install i hope you already have jdk installed in your computer so now we can start the installation process so here uh, we have the corona exe file now i'm going to install corona uh, click next accept license agreement click next this is the installation folder click next and click install and here the installation finish finishes uh, now click finish button so now we successfully install corona sdk in this computer and here is the corona simulator icon okay now we can install the notepad plus plus so install notepad plus plus click next create a desktop icon click next and click finish so here i successfully installed notepad plus plus and corona is decay so now we uh, install all the needed component for start game development using corona sdk so from the next video onwards we are going to create some simple games using corona sdk